welcome back everyone so let us discuss an example for the minimum description length principle so here the example that we are discussing is based on the decision tree itself so here it is learning decision trees from some training data so here once again we are taking c1 as the hypothesis and c2 as the training data given hypothesis and here once again we are taking the assumption that both the sender and receiver knows what are the training data or what are the training instances. So here we are taking x1, x2, so on up to x, xn as the training instances. And these are known to both transmitter as well as to the receiver. So when they already know what is the example data or what are the training instances, it is only required to transmit the classification. So thereby we are reducing the length of the data or the number of bits that are to be transmitted. Ultimately, that is our aim, right? So we want to minimize the number of bits that are to be transmitted. So we are following this principle. And if the training classifications, so let us take it as f of x1, f of x2, so on, f of xm. So these are identical to what is predicted, okay? So that means the original data and the predicted data both are the same. So that means there is no error. So there are no misclassifications at all. So hence, there is no need to transmit. Only classifications are to be sent. So there are no misclassifications. So we won't send any data. So thereby, we are reducing the description length. Okay. It is, it is here it is zero. Suppose if there is a misclassification. So in case of the misclassification, we will be sending only which example is misclassified and what is its correct classification. Okay. So here also we are not sending the entire result of which example is correctly classified, what is its output and all. We are not sending. We are sending only which is misclassified and what is its correct classification. That's all we are sending. So thereby minimizing the number of bits to transmit or the now, in for length of the information that has to be transmitted. And here, the hypothesis HMDL. Okay, hypothesis of the minimum description length principle under the encodings C1 and C2. Which will be the one? So, it is the one that minimizes the sum of these description lengths, C1 and C2. So, that means first I have chosen one hypothesis. Okay, let us take it as C H one for this I got some different values of C one and C two. Okay, so similarly I have taken one more hypothesis and here I have some different values for both C one and C two. Similarly, you can take any number of hypotheses and you can calculate the length of this C one and C two. So among all this, whichever will give you a minimum value, so that will be chosen as the best hypothesis for this particular problem and we will fix the C1 and C2 values to that particular one. So here we are assuming that H1 has given us a lesser value. So we are choosing this one. So thereby what we can say, the MDL principle provides a trading off of hypothesis complexity of the number of errors committed by the hypothesis. So that means if your hypothesis is very short, so then there is a possibility of committing less number of errors. So only using Occam's razor, we are taking only a shorter hypothesis for the MDL principle. Okay, so here we are taking the example for the MDL, minimum description length principle. Hope you followed the video. If you have any queries or any solutions, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you.